LIU Carpy Lot and you join me at Thorny Weir and the Mets down in Uxbridge. I'm, um, I'm on Thorny, yeah, uh, we're in a, a swim, I think it's called The Point. Um, it it kind of comes out into the lake um, off of the main track. Cool, blimey, that main track. What a walk. <laughs> Did not enjoy that one bit. Uh, right, so we've got the rods out, as you can see. I've put a, few, uh, put a little bit of bait out, but not a lot. Um, about five spots over each, uh, each rod. But if I'm totally honest, it was a waste of time because no sooner than I done it, the swans moved in and they started munching down on my bait. So, got a little bit of pellet um, on a PVA mesh uh, on each hook, so hopefully they haven't eaten everything, so I've still got some form of bait down there. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's see how we get on. Tight lines. LAU carpy lot. Right, I just thought I'd jump on for a quick update. Um, no fish as of yet but to be fair I've only had the rods in the water about two hours um, I've just put a little bit more bait out only two spoms over each spot because uh, like I mentioned earlier the the swans cottoned on to what I was doing and uh, come over and just ate all of my bait so I thought if I reduce the amount of spomming I do while they're not in the area hopefully they won't home in on me and and come over and realize that now I've just put a load more bait out. Um, at the moment that's worked. <laughs> Fingers crossed um, they stay away and the fish move in, uh, which hopefully shouldn't be too long. Uh, the wind's blowing right into my swim, as you can see. It's looking, I mean, the weather's spot on today. Um, I thought it was gonna be a little bit more overcast than what it is, but um, I mean, I'm only here for 12 hours I think um, I've bought the bivvy because I've got the missus with me as well um, so if it does start to rain we've got some shelter but at the moment I don't think I'm gonna need to stick it up um, yeah the sun's out it's looking looking really good um, but like I say just no bites uh, as of yet um, what I'll do now though is I'll quickly show you where I've positioned my baits in this swim all right, right then, you carpy lot. My left hand rod is just about not even half a rod length off of this island here. Right, my middle rod is smack bang in the center of them islands, um, but it kind of fell a little bit short of where I wanted it but it's still in a good position, hopefully. It didn't really land with a donk, um, but from what my, I've, I've only, I've never fished here, so uh, from the information I've got off of my friends and stuff like that, it's a very, very silty bottom. Um, you know, you've got to really lead around to try and find them hard spots. Um, so on both of them rods, I've gone with the helicopter lead uh, system um, with a, IQD um, rig on. My left hand rod has um, the Tor Baits Lobstor um, Slime Ball Wafter. Um, my middle rod has the Pineapple Slime Ball Wafter on it. Right, and now I just need to move the camera a little bit to show you where my right hand rod is. So my right hand rod is literally by them reeds there. Yeah, about a rod length off of them reeds. Um, haven't seen any fish showing over there that would make me put a lead over there, but it just looked like the most obvious spot um, where carp would be patrolling around the, uh, the banks and stuff like that. Um, and on that one, again, I've got the um, Tor Baits Pineapple Wafter on there. Um, I'm gonna give it a couple of hours and see what see what happens, and then I might change up the old uh, the old bait. So yeah, that's my spot at the whole 20 acre lake. Um, I've chosen this tiny little corner. Hopefully, like I said, we'll have some fish move in here soon. Um, so before I um, wrap this up and go and have some lunch, I've been um, I've been running a little, uh, well not a competition as such, but it's 
I get the guys on my Facebook page to share their catch reports um, through the week. Uh, and then I decided this week what I would do was select one that I like the look of um, and and give the guys a shout out um, on, on the vlog. So the one I chose was Alfie Ude. Well done Alfie for smashing your PB with that lovely, stunning 27 pound uh, mirror carp. Yeah, just up there. Um, he caught it on his uh, on his local lake in Bedfordshire. Yeah, uh, he he told me that he literally only slung his rod about five rod lengths out um, with a handful of about fifteen um, freebie boilies. So yeah, and he said within ten minutes the rod ripped off, and like I say, he absolutely smashed his PB by about twenty odd pounds. So well done, Alfie. Um, right then guys, I'm going to leave it there, hopefully we'll have a fish on the bank to show you soon. Um, tight lines. this last bomb out and then I'll take you through what I've got in my bucket. So then guys, as you can see in here is my spod mix. Yeah. So what we've got in here is we've got some maize, we've got some boilie in there as well, uh, halves and whole, um, hemp seed. It's quite heavily loaded with hemp seed um, and pigeon conditioner, but normally I have a lot more pigeon conditioner than what's in there. Um, but I just didn't feel like I needed to cook any more up, um, which I probably could have done with a little bit, but I'm quite happy with that as it is. And also I've got in there one tin of uh, tuna. Okay, right. So that is my spod mix. I've put a few spoms out over each spot now. So hopefully 
let's see what happens. If the birds leave me alone, that is. Right then, you carpy lot. Um, just thought I'd jump on, give you a quick update. Um, no more fish. Well, no fish at all, to be honest. Uh, I did see one show earlier. Uh, there's a tree over to my right. I'll, when I get a chance, I'll jump out and I'll show you show you that tree. Um, I saw a fish show out over there earlier, probably about 45 minutes ago. So I reeled in my rod and cast it over towards it. I would have been silly not to, to be fair, but um, yeah, nothing's developed from that just yet. So a little bit about the lake. Uh, the lake is roughly about 20 acres in size. There's um, there's a few lakes on this actual complex that you can fish on your day ticket. Um, you've got this Lake Thorny, which is massive. Um, and then you've got the Mets, and I believe also Lizard's Lake, where you have to go and buy your ticket from. Uh, so if you are actually planning on coming here, what I suggest you do is use the postcode for Lizard Lake, um, which will actually get you directly here. Whereas the one I put in at first, it took me around the houses a little bit and yeah, I got a little bit lost. <laughs> um, so yeah, so you've got Lizard Lake and you've also got the Mets. The Mets is about 15 acres. I have been told that that's meant to be the runs water. Whether it is or not, I'm yet to find out. I'll have to go and fish that sometime. Um, it is a lovely looking lake. Uh, if you ever get the chance to even just go and have a have a walk around it, it is absolutely beautiful. Um, Thorny, however, is larger in size, a lot larger, and it takes a lot longer to walk around. Um, you've got to park up at the car park and hump your stuff around, so bring your barra. If you've got an electric barra, ideal for here, because it, if you want to get to some of the further pegs um, around the far end of the... Uh, the lake it's a very very long walk about 20 minutes maybe even half an hour um, it's got a good head of fish in it um, a lot of the older fish are in there in the 40s um, 40 pound mark but then a lot of the stocky fish that have been stocked in over the years um, you know they've also grown over the years to about 20 to 30 pounds so every chance of coming here and hooking into a decent sized fish um we've just got to get on them so let's see if i can get one on the bank for you guys tight lines So, like I said earlier, where I saw that um, showing fish was literally this tree here, this overhanging tree in the distance that you can see where my finger's covering up, was where I saw the fish show. So I've just literally casted um, a single hook bait just where them bubbles are there. Uh, and that is just with a helicopter rig system with a pineapple tour slime wafter. Hopefully Saint will uh, will show again for us. If not, rip me rod off. The other change I've made is what is now my middle rod. If you can see this, um, I've zoomed quite close in. This overhanging tree here, yeah, my right hand rod is just underneath there. At the moment, I've just um, I had the bailiff come round and he told me where some gravelly spots were. Um, and where fish frequently uh, come out from. Uh, the other spot he told me to, to use, which I'm actually not at the moment, is where that, where that bird is just there that's just d uh, dived down for the leftover of my bait. And that was where my middle rod originally was, but I've moved that one over to the tree uh, where I saw the showing fish. And then the other place, I've just done, had a little move, 
on my left hand rod is I've just brought it in a little bit to just in line with this um, barge here, this sunken barge. Yeah, probably about two rod lengths to the right of it. Um, it went down with a nice little donk, so yeah, I thought I'd leave that one there. Hopefully that's a nice little gravel bar or gravel spot that I've found. So, fingers crossed guys, I can uh, get something on the bank. Um, doing a little bit of research on uh, Google about the lake, what I have found out is I am in one of the shallower areas of the lake. Um, so probably wasn't the best choice of swims, to be fair, today. But then again, I could be completely wrong. They could want to be in the shallower, shallower water, you know, um, just chilling out, relaxing. Well, hopefully not relaxing, feeding. But yeah. There you go, guys. It's thorny. Let's take you around here a little bit. So there's that barge I was telling you about. And it kind of goes all the way out around here to there. Cutting off this part of um, this part of the lake from the rest. saying it is quite a big big lake I'm looking forward to coming back here and doing a couple of nights to be honest I think a day session it just wasn't enough or isn't enough on this lake for me to get the feel of it but yeah anyway guys tight lines Evening you carpy lot, right just thought I'd uh, jump on for a quick update, um, I've just uh, been on Facebook, done a live there, I was going to jump on YouTube and try and do a live but uh, for some strange reason it wouldn't let me do that. Um, nothing's changed, I haven't moved my rods, if you watch um, watched my live you, you would have seen where I've moved my rods um, since my last update, um, but I'm still under the tree over to my right. Um, well, my left as you're looking at me. Um, under the uh, hanging tree on the island um, and just over my right shoulder here by the sunken barge, I found a nice little gravel spot. Um, what, just, what, maybe four or five rod lengths? Rod lengths out. Um, yeah, so no fish to report. Uh, Hopefully, we'll have something on the bank soon for you guys. All right, tight lines. Right then guys, I'm just gonna quickly take you through uh, my setup, yeah? So I'm using the Heli, uh, the Fox Heli system, yeah? Which just comes straight down to a lead clip. Um, and then I come on to my IQ D-Rig, yeah, which is just on there with a size 6 fang x barbless hook it is barbless only on this uh on this venue so as you can see there's no barb there no micro barb yeah and then i've just got my tour baits uh pineapple slime ball wafter right well, then you carpy lot i'm gonna call it a day there it's now just coming up for six o'clock uh we've not had any bites we've not even really had any action at all but I mean wow that is a lot of weed yeah so we've not had much action at all but I am looking forward to coming back here in a couple of weeks with my friends uh, Tom so we're gonna hit this again and hopefully we'll have something out this time um, now I've got a better idea and a better understanding of the lake and, and how I need to approach it um, my advice if you're coming down here guys uh, is spend at least an hour leading around find yourself a couple of spots because uh, it is very very silty and very very weedy um, but yeah 
it still produces a lot of fish off of the gravel spots. Um, so yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Yeah, and if you made it all the way to the end, super thank you to you guys. Um, don't forget to like the video, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought, yeah? And also subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm update, uploading. Um, normally I upload on a Tuesday at around about 3 p.m. All right, guys, anyway, tight lines.